Hey YouTube, in this video I want to do a video covering resizable bar and why it's very important to enable it for Intel Arc. If you're interested in getting one of these GPUs from Intel that are newly launched, very good value for the money in terms of there's a lot of potential. The hardware is solid so I can see why there is a lot of demand for it, um, but the supply is very limited right now. Um, but I wanted to kind of go over sort of the system requirements that you kind of need to have in order to get the best out of this GPU. Uh, so, resizable bar is a big thing that was talked about when the reviews came out last week. And in my initial testing, as well as the testing I did on stream in the previous video that's up on my channel, um, I came to the conclusion that if you don't have resizable bar, it's not worth bothering trying to get one of these at all. Like, step one is make sure you have a resizable bar capable motherboard and CPU. So let's get right into what is supporting what's not. Let's kind of go over I made a spreadsheet here well let's before I show the spreadsheet I want to show you guys real quick so how to tell if it's turned on or not like the easiest way and I know some people don't want to download third-party tools so I will show you how to do this without third-party tools but the easiest way is to go to techpowerup.com and download this application called GPU Z so you can see up here it's called GPU Z from Tech Power Up. it's a very good program for like helping you check the monitor the temperatures and and know what's what specific GPU you have. So you can see here I'm running an Intel Arc A770. You can see the device ID, the RAM, you can see 16 gigabytes of memory. It's running at PCI 4.0 uh, and it is actually running at 4.0 x16. Wickle drivers and then here are the features. So you can see right there on the right hand side Resizable bar, let me get the mouse, resizable bar disabled. So this is not running. Now if you have an Intel GPU installed, like if you, like in this case I have Arc installed, uh, if you do Alt-I to bring up the overlay, which they really need to turn this into a regular uh, thing, but they're working on that, so as far as I know. So right here, resizable bar supported, yes. So you can see it says resizable bar supported, Yes, uh, resizable bar state off. So I have to go into the BIOS to turn that on. Um, so we are going to have to go to the BIOS. The other way to tell if you do not want to install GPU Z for whatever reason, uh, you can go to your device manager. So you just uh, open the Windows button and you type in device manager and then have that open up. And then you want to go down to where, it, well first it'll look like this, right? We'll start with this. You want to click on display adapter, you want to expand this, and then this will be the name of your graphics card. Uh, if you have two, if you have an integrated graphics card, you'll have two entries in here, unless it's disabled in the BIOS, but uh, you want to double click on your graphics card. So in this case we have the RK770, and then that'll open up this window, and you want to click on where it says resources. And you want to see, check what it says for the second row. You'll see three rows. Actually, yeah, there's three rows. Memory range, memory range, and IRQ. So in this case, you want to make sure that the second row, so the second memory range, it has to say very, or it has to say large memory range. If it says memory range, like what I'm seeing here, that means that resizable bar is turned off or it's not supported by the motherboard. So... GPU Z is good um, because you don't have to open this, but you know it doesn't take too much to type in device manager and open this up and check. But this, this just by looking at this, I can already tell resizable bar is turned off, or or it's not supported. So we're gonna have to go in the BIOS to investigate whether or not it's supported on this platform or not. So that's kind of how you check manually on the if you don't know or if you don't if you lost your CPU box, you don't even know. The other way to know what CPU you have, um, you can simply just open. The task manager, if you bring up the task manager, you can like do control alt delete and then open task manager. If you check in Windows, you click on performance and you click on CPU and it will show it like this. The other thing too about this is it'll usually show it like this as one overall large processor. If you right click on this grid and you click change graph to logical processors, it'll show you how many threads you have. So in this case we have an 8 core processor, but because it's it has simultaneous multi-threading, 
which means each core can actually do two things at once. So they function as like two cores to the operating system. So it become eight becomes sixteen. So this shows up as sixteen squares from zero at the top to fifteen down here. So that's that's how to tell what CPU you have. So I can already tell this is a, a AMD Ryzen seven. 5800X, so I know this does support resizable bar. Now we just need to make sure that the motherboard that we're using supports it. Um, in this case, we're using an Asus Crosshair Hero. Uh, you can use CPU-Z. CPU-Z is another uh, really useful program to download, and then it, it tells you your CPU. It tells you your what your motherboard is. So it says main board. You can see Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Hero. It's the Wi-Fi one. So PCI Express 4.0 X570. So X570, uh, there's the BIOS version from earlier this year. So I can already tell just by looking at this, it's going to have it. Um, but let's open up like a spreadsheet that I made. Just kind of summarize all the steps here. All right, summarize what's supported, what's not. So if you have a Ryzen CPU and you want to get an Intel GPU, you want to make sure you have one of these. So you have to have a CPU from 2019 or newer. Uh, some I have read online that some 2000 series CPUs work as long as the motherboard uh, supports it, but I don't think that's officially supported. Like if you were to go to AMD's website, uh, it wouldn't list like 2000 as officially supported. It would only show 3000 and newer. Um, but the other thing too is the motherboard. So see how it says here, AMD 600 series and 500 series. So 600 series, is exclusive to the new uh, the 7000 series stuff so that's gonna be very expensive that's why it's kinda slow to see those roll out but most people are either on like B550 or X570 and that falls into the category of the AMD 500 series so those will definitely work just look at the operating system requirements you need to have Windows 10 64-bit or newer or you need to be on Windows 11 64-bit. I think Windows 11 defaults to 64-bit. GPT partition as opposed to a uh, master boot record or an MBR. MBR is basically a legacy. It will not really use. So, and the way you can tell is when you boot into Windows, if you see your motherboard logo, like for example, if you have a Gigabyte motherboard, you see the Aorus logo or the Asus ROG logo or Asus or MSI. If you see those logos while the little uh, dots are spinning, that, that's a pretty good indicator that you're on a modern GPT partition for the OS. Uh, if you do not see that, if you instead see the Windows little, like the blue squares for the Windows logo, that could indicate that you're on the legacy MBR. Um, but it kind of depends. So you'll have to, you'll have to look into that more um, to make sure. But... That's kind of the, you know, the easy way to tell for most cases. Full-size PCI Express 3.0 or newer X16 slot. So, and then here's the Intel support. So if you're on 12th gen Intel, which is from last year, I did include the year. I think I did. Yeah, it's like right there. So basically, if you have a CPU from 2021 or 2020 from Intel, you're pretty much set. But yeah, that's kind of the overall what sort of platforms you need to have or be on in order to benefit from resizable bar because it's definitely a requirement in my mind like i don't really think you you lose too much performance if you use uh if you don't have resizable bar enabled so let me go ahead and restart this computer let's go into the bios and turn on resizable bar all right so we're gonna mash delete to get into the bios all right here we are so we're in, this is an Asus motherboard, so it's going to have the ROG logo in the top left. What you want to do is you want to go to Advanced. So you can use the mouse, but I typically use the keyboard. You want to go to Advanced, and then you want to go to where it says PCI Subsystem Settings. Now this could vary for based off of your motherboard. Like if you have a different Asus motherboard, this menu might be somewhere else. But in general, for all of them, I think they're all under Advanced. In some newer motherboards, they might be on the like the front page for the Extreme Tweaker. Um, like I know on my Gigabyte board for my Ryzen 7000 series, resizable bar is literally on the front page. Um, but it also shows you right here. So the cool thing is in some of these newer UEFIs, they actually have like a tooltip, 
like a, a kind of a, an alert here telling you that resizable bar is on or off, or it'll just have the button up here. So this is cool. I never actually even noticed this until now. Um, this is something that's probably added with the latest BIOS, and this is probably something that AMD kind of pushed out to try to get smart access memory uh, to roll out on their platforms because this is an AMD motherboard. But I guess Intel would also definitely push, probably even more so than AMD, because Intel stands to gain the most by enabling resizable bar. So this is cool. So it has on resizable bar support for harnessing full GPU memory or off resizable bar support will be disabled. So if we click on this, if I click on, see what that does. So let me go back to PCIe. Okay, so it automatically turned on these two settings. So I want to go back and show what this, what to do if you do not have that uh, useful little knob there at the top to turn it on. So if you don't have it turned on, you need to go to advanced. You might have to like search for it. It really kind of depends on the motherboard uh, and the BIOS menu. But in this case, you go to advanced and you click on PCI subsystem settings. So advanced PCI subsystem settings. And then where it says above 4G decoding, you want to make sure that that is enabled. Now you'll, you might notice here that we do not have the option to enable resizable bar. And that's because it requires that above 4G decoding is first enabled. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. And then all of a sudden after enabling it, we now have a second option here. Resize bar support. It, it's set to auto. The only options are auto or disabled. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on auto. So what it will do is it will, it will check if the GPU supports resizable bar, then it will actually enable it for the operating system. So that's all you need to do. So now what you want to do is you want to press F10 and you want to save and then it's going to now reboot. Okay, notice also that because I have the Republic of Gamers logo, that kind of tells me that I'm on a, a GPT installation as opposed to a legacy non-UEFI master boot record installation. If I saw the Windows logo there, then I was probably, that's probably a good indicator that I'm not on UEFI and I probably won't be able to run Resizable Bar. Okay, so once we're back in, there's a couple of ways to tell. The easiest way, like I said, was to open up GPU-Z. This will be the easiest way to tell just right off the bat. So right there in, in GPU-Z, now we, it says resizable bar enabled. So that also means that for those that are familiar with the term SAM or smart access memory, that also means that smart access memory is enabled. Um, if you want to tell on uh, the Intel Arc Control Center. Now when we open up the Control Center, we click here, we go to System Info, and now when I go and look at Resizable Bar Supported, it still says Support Yes, but now it says On, and this is what you want to make sure you have enabled if you want to get the full performance available out of the Arc GPU. If you want to test it manually, so if you want to test it manually, you open Device Manager. This is how you would test it if you didn't have GPU-Z. So like I said earlier, we want to open this up. So you want to open up Device Manager. You want to go to Display Adapters. Then double click your graphics card, click Resources. And like I was saying earlier, now the second row, we still have the three, the three rows. We have the second row saying Large Memory Range. As long as it says Large Memory Range, that means that Resizable Bar is enabled. So that's what you'll need to do to make sure you can get the most performance out of the new Intel Arc GPU. Uh, I hope you guys found this video useful, um, and if you have any questions about like what you need to do to enable it, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please leave a like. It does help me feel motivated to keep making more of these like how-tos and sort of videos on GPUs. Uh, the next video that I plan to be doing is probably going to be a face-off between the Arc A770 and the Radeon 6700 XT. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. We're also going to be doing a comparison on Radeon settings versus the ARC control center. So if you like this content, uh, feel free to subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.